hey, welcome to the sixth run it down. If we're not running down, then it's not G2. That's, I think I got it right. And if I didn't get it right, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Because this is not going to be edited. I have Caps and Wonder with me. Two beautiful people to discuss a little bit about the start of Summer Split. If we can call it a start. Uh, and, <laughs> and a little bit about their off time between the splits. So, just to start off, um, let's say Caps. How was your off season, man? Because I know you like playing league a lot, and even if you in your off time, you actually do enjoy playing solo queue and league and stuff. So how how was your off season? Um, so I mean, obviously I swapped back to mid, so I was just like trying to grind a bit of mid lane uh, and relearn some of the champions. And um, it was I was like staying at the gaming house, so it was just like me and Miki, which was. Uh, pretty fun, I guess. Uh, but it was also like a bit weird since normally we have like so many people in the gaming house, so we only have like two people instead. It's like the only time I feel like that I've had, at least like for a long period. Um, so it was definitely like a weird experience, but but pretty fun. <laughs> That's cool. What about you, Wonder? Uh, yeah. Wow rates, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do shit, honestly. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I was sitting at home eating some uh, some good food and uh, playing. Yeah, I played some Valorant actually. I played World of Warcraft. Played like some normal games in League. <laughs> that was basically it. Yeah. Okay. Didn't, really okay. Do, much of, didn't do much. So of I, I, I have seen that most of the teams, including Fnatic actually, were trying for their lives in the weeks prior to the start of the split. And and you know. I think it's a little... I mean, it's normal, right? Because they want to show off that they're good, especially with those teams that have lineup changes. A few of them had. Um, so th how do you feel about that? You know, about the fact that historically also, you guys have been very tame at the beginning of the split and the beginning of the season and then slowly ramped up as, you know, playoffs were getting closer and closer. H how do you feel about that in general? Mm, I think a lot of teams uh, in general have started like way earlier than than usual the split. I think it probably mainly has to do with like Corona. I guess they have nothing else to do, so they just <laughs> might. Have, so like maybe some of them are like stuck in the house. Uh, I, I'm not actually sure, but a lot of teams actually started like I don't even know if it was like more than a month earlier. But I know teams like Fnatic, uh, even like us. I think we could we could have normally we start like a bit. Uh, closer to when the split starts, but we also had we started like two two weeks before, but then we had like a, a little break before uh, the split started, so we scrimmed like for a total one week, which I guess is not that much when you look at it compared to other teams. But yeah, I mean, I think it's more mostly due to Corona that people like started that much earlier, I guess. So, uh, Caps, what do you think are the because you know people watching from home, they think they know what they're talking about. But nobody fucking knows what they're talking about. It's like Twitch chat, Reddit, and a bunch of clowns. Like, they have no fucking idea what they're saying. So, even if they say the right things, they say it for the wrong reasons. Because they don't understand the game. So, please explain to everybody what happens if you don't scream as much. Is it that you become worse? Is it that your mechanics are not there? Is it that... What is it off? I mean, what I do think, you think is the biggest sort of difference? I mean, I think, like, I mean, as we would have mentioned, we, like, scrimmed a week, but we scrimmed, like, a... Uh, one week and then we took like one week break and then we played LSE. I think the other splits we usually have had like uh, one week of scrims as well, but it was like one week of scrims and then we played stage. And I think the right. biggest difference for us, so like some scrims were going just fine, like there's not that, like there's any problems on scrims. Uh, I think the biggest problem for us was just that we obviously took this one week break while not being like super comfortable on everything since like the, um, uh, since we hadn't scrimmed for like a long time before that. Uh, and then when we came back and we played LSE with, with like out the scrims, we were not completely sure about the meta, and we were essentially just like one week behind the meta in terms of like um, oh, in terms of scrims. So everything we thought was like everything we thought was good uh, was what everyone thought was good like a week ago, and then people had found like either counters to it or uh, people had adapted in certain ways, and we were not like caught up with everyone else. Um, so yeah, I mean, we thought we would be fine anyway. I mean, obviously, we took still took down Mad Lions the game one, uh, day one, and I think we could also like have taken down game two and game three. But um, yeah, we were just we were just not good enough to to carry through like that lag of uh, mm -hmm. yeah like that lag of understanding of the meta, I guess. Um, but well, hopefully, we will be able to next week. <laughs> so so uh, wonder what do you think? Are, when we talk about the meta, right? What do you think? Um, is 
the meta right now comparably with last split? Like, what do you think sort of changed in the way the games are played? Because a lot of the champions we see right now are a lot of the champions we saw before. Uh, of course, some nerves and buffs on the way, but um, how do you feel about the game right now, meta-wise? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think like the main changes from I guess the end of last split to now is mainly like I think jungle champs. Like a lot of people are doing like the farm junglers. Uh, not as much, I mean, we still play the Leeson. I mean, a lot of teams, teams also play like the Leeson and stuff like that, right? But uh, Graves and uh, even like Kane in other regions and, and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. play. It's a TSM lose with it, no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so like, I guess games could be like a little bit more chill, but I think also top lane better. Um, well, in playoffs, it was basically only tanks. Now there's like some Wukong and stuff like this. And then... Uh, in the Asian regions, they also play like some carry champs. Um, so I think that that's mainly the changes. But besides that, I think the like the way you play the game, we still play it like around bot, and I think that's probably still like like that's the, you draft around bot, so you probably play around bot too. It's probably like the most OP lane still uh, okay. to play around. So I think nothing really changed in that way. It's mainly the same. Okay. So so when yes, so that everybody understands when you guys say you know we are. <coughs> We don't we don't fully understand the meta. What does that mean exactly? Does it only mean peaks? I mean, just, uh, like mean? I think that's the biggest way of looking at it because, as Muda mentioned, it's not like the meta <coughs> changed a lot, but it's more so that I think, for example, in playoffs, we were like really ahead of the meta. Uh, we were like one of the teams that found the most success with something like Esso Yumi. Uh, we played all of the like we played all of the strong <laughs> picks. We had obviously played, the, played like the Sundra. We played the Kalista. We played with Senna. We played Pantheon. Like we played all the different OP champions. And there were a lot of teams that didn't do it. There were a lot of teams that didn't play certain champions, like Fnatic, for example, was like banning every single game. Like I don't know about exactly what they banned, but they were banning like Sundra, Kalista, and something else as well. I think every single game, which means that they like they were not playing those champions. And also, uh, oh yeah, SLU as well. Like a lot of teams were not playing that, but we were having a lot of success with it. Uh, and now <coughs> people have kind of caught up to it. We also pulled out the like the Kogmo Lulu, and people are starting to play a lot of. Similar things like that, like we played Jenna Lulu, uh, Jenna Aphelios as well, I think, and now people are starting to play like Lulu, Aphelios, uh, people are starting to play uh, Yumi as well, and basically just people are catching up to us, uh, like our understanding in playoffs, and because we didn't have a scrim to, uh, no, a week to scrim, we didn't get to like, get even further ahead, right, we just let everyone catch up to us, and then they were able to beat us in, in, in the week, but obviously if we have scrims as well, then we will just like keep keep going further than them and people will have to keep catching up to us but we will just keep going going for, uh, even further with the meta right and maybe we'll have an answer to to the questions that like they put on onto us like they, they start playing like uh, yeah, they're just the same champions as us and they just start like taking things from us so we will have to find answers to that okay so i i understand it now better so it, it's, it's not only the, the the champions it's also the way to play the way you play the understanding of how the game is going i i, I get it for sure, so yeah. Um. Oh, what, what is? Oh, yeah, Jen. Okay. <laughs> so, wonder. What do you feel about Genex's first week's performance in the top lane? Genex's first weeks. Uh, I saw him against. I saw him against OG, <coughs> and he was like struggling a bit. I mean, it, admittedly, like he was playing like um, a top lane matchup that was like pretty much only there was like the most played top lane matchup you could have like played last split. Like on against Aatrox, I think like there were so many on versus Aatrox games, so he was probably not as like comfortable in that matchup as Alfari was. So he got like a little bit destroyed in lane, like more than he should be. But uh, he didn't like, yeah, he didn't die one v one at least like I did. So I mean, he got that going from him, right? Uh, so yeah, I mean, he like he did. I guess he did his job. But I think if he his team then like I don't know if they like I don't remember if they really outdrafted him uh, Origin or if they were like just winning bot side, but if they didn't do that I think he would have probably lost. <laughs> um, and then I saw him, I saw him play like another game where he actually did fine. I think it was against Schalke or something. I think they played Schalke and he actually did pretty well. So I guess. Uh, like on Aatrox, so I guess he's like decent on Aatrox, that's why he played a mid lane as well when he was a mid laner, so uh, maybe he knows how to play that jump, jump you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure how to judge him yet besides that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. If I am a viewer, I'm like, yeah, let, when the fuck are they going to talk about it? 
yeah. What the fuck happened this weekend? And by the way, I'm t- I'm saying that as a fan, as a, as 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 Carlos. <coughs> uh, I'm I'm I I, don't, I I first of all don't give a fuck. Second of all, I think I know the reasons. Uh, but yeah, as a fan, I come here and say hello. My name is Mateusz Sigulski from Poland. What the fuck <laughs> happened this weekend? Yeah, Caps. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't, there's like not much to say other than that we just like, I mean, we obviously played really poorly. Uh, I think a lot of things like also just like didn't go our way. Um, just unlucky, honestly. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah, I mean, it's just like we we were just not, we were just not, um, yeah, we were just not ready enough for, for like the adaptation, right? People adapted and we didn't adapt fast enough to like counter it. Uh, so we just were left behind. Uh, fortunately enough, we were able to win the first day, uh, and I think yeah, I'm very, very balanced. Like <laughs> I don't really know what sales or not. Yeah, we did. We okay, didn't so, go. So we didn't go zero three. So that's that's that's, that's, that's important. That's important. You know, I I I don't like zero threes. Uh, but you know, I realized yesterday that thirty is three zero, which means that from now on there is no more zero threes. <laughs> that's true. In actually, Counter Strike or League of Legends <laughs> anywhere. So I think I think it's a victory. Um, so so okay okay so it it just happened whatever so do you mean with this that the the G two era is over is that what you really meant I mean I mean I mean I wouldn't necessarily say that I think we are probably gonna like come back next so week so it's over we're doomed Sasha open up my tweet <laughs> we have a fun we have a fun question okay uh, those of you with calculators nearby can G two mathematically still qualify for playoffs <laughs> have you guys made the the calculations. Have you guys made the calculations? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, still there's a chance. Well, I think chance? mathematically, um, we can't get first place anymore because there's two teams who are 3-0. And mathematically, they have 100% Ooh. win rate and they should keep <laughs> on having 100% win rate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't have 100% win rate, so first place Ooh. is gone. Uh, but we are tied for sixth, so hopefully we can clutch it out right at the end. Yeah, that'll be good to clutch it out, like a gauntlet type of run, you know? Yeah. You just can clutch it out, get into playoffs last minute, you know? Maybe we can get lucky and maybe win a game in quarterfinals. I mean, that's it's always true, second yeah. place as well. That's always second place in the playoffs. Um, just to, like, to match the world's, world's second place. True, true, true. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can all, yeah we, the good thing is that we have a lot of points or whatever the fuck, how the, fuck <laughs> the system works now. We have a lot of points from the first split, you know? That's good. Good stuff. Good st- <laughs> who, who, how is the ranking looking like? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, we're not the players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rogue is first. Let, let's get let's let's pick up a little rundown here. Rogue, uh, tell me tell me your thoughts about um, the undefeated king of LEC, <laughs> Rogue. <laughs> They're pretty good. I mean, yeah. what can you say? They are unbeatable. We have never unbeatable. actually won a game against them. <laughs> They're just so good. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Oh shit, we play against them next week. Oh, oh no, man, we're doomed. <laughs> it's so fine. Think, we can't uh, go 1 2. Yeah, we can't go 1 2 anymore. <laughs> uh, so, uh, worst case, we go 0 2, which is. That's true. <laughs> it's a bit worse. But <laughs> it's a bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Uh, and Fnatic, of course, you know. Yeah, Fnatic, they're stable. Of course, you know, stable. You know. <laughs> Always second place. <laughs> Dude, very nice tattoos, that guy. Who's, how is that guy called? The guy with the tattoos that does like this? Oh, it's Rakan. R- 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 nah, I'm not sure, actually. This this guy, you know? Yeah, I think he plays he's like Tristana player, right? Rakan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rakan. <laughs> uh, so, SK Gaming is 2-1. What does SK Gaming have? Who are the, pl- who are the players? You probably don't know wait, yet, right? Uh, they, no, no, it's uh, they Gen, have Gen X. X no? you just, yeah, oh, Gen X, of course, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Gen X. Mad Lions is alright, we know them. Vitality, what happened? They have more victories than in the last two years combined right now. What happened? Well, we lost to them, right? We had to, we felt, oh, we lost to them, it's We true. felt uh, pity. Uh, and we thought, I mean, if they couldn't make it in spring, we might just... To, to be fair with you, I I was watching the game and I did not know, I think two of their players, I didn't, I never saw those names. Yeah, it's probably their... Uh, wait... I think their support had a fucking weird name. Oh, yeah. I mean, their mid laner, their support. Their yeah, AD who, are the, who are those people? Did we just lose against... What is this? <laughs> fucking ha- Halo players? What I is mean, this? I mean, they've played like amateur before, I think. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure at least. 
So, uh... Um, all right, very good. So this is very impressive. I mean, <laughs> Schalke, whatever, dude. Schalke, nobody cares. Um, Excel, I guess, a little bit the same. Misfits, man. Misfits, you know. They are, Misfits, they, okay. are, they are a good team, yeah. Yeah. All right. Whatever, dude. Who's worse, TSM or G2? Oof. Uh, I will say if I play bot lane against double lift, we will for sure win. Uh, I've done it in the past, and he got like <laughs> so destroyed. Actually, he had to. We were sitting in the facilities they were playing in as well, and I just destroyed him in bot lane. Okay. So I know okay. that if I played bot lane against him, we would for sure win. Uh, how how all these TSM's line up, bro? I I actually think if you just sum the years of experience in TSM's lineup, you probably reach 200. I think, actually, I think there was like a Reddit thread at some point, no? About like Team Liquid when they had the x -Mithy. They were like, average Ooh. age was like 26 or something, 27. Holy <laughs> shit. That's that like a CS. The, the that's geriatric. Like a, that's like a CS team. Uh, like a... <laughs> yeah, CS 1.3 team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy, yeah. Alright, um, do you play uh, Fantasy? LSE Fantasy? No. No. You don't. But if you would, you would, <laughs> you would choose yourself, right? I mean, yeah. I would probably hate myself after this week. Like I did. <laughs> like I fucking did. <laughs> do you want to understand? I, I, I would like you to know something. I lost points. Who gave, who, who gave you the most minus? Do you know? Mickey X. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Always Mickey. Mickey X completely <laughs> fucked me over. Yeah, that was some science time kind of going on there. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was fucking dirty. Like, <laughs> another week like that, another week like that, and we're sending him to fucking Super Liga Orange or some shit, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. I want to make that very clear. Let's play this clip. Caps, did you intentionally miss to make sure Perks got the kill and got more fed? <laughs> that's, a shitty, that's a shitty question, but let's play the clip. See Caps? We see Caps? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, he hits, okay. he hits on the blitzkrieg. He hits one, he hits one. Okay. But now he will miss. Oh. Oh, Ooh, no. He, no, he, Karzy, man. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, it seems like I, I just missed. That, that was at the edge as well, eh? That was at very, very edge ultimate. Yeah, almost that actually could have been a, yeah. That could have been a jikes. That was very close for it to, to be a jikes. <laughs> All right, decent clip. Yeah, um, we, we were missing a lot of scores, yeah. I feel like, this game. Um, yeah, but if you get ahead with that comp, it's pretty stupid, no? Like, just, even if you miss, but you hit one, it's over. Yeah, it was pretty strong, yeah. Okay. That was, that was a confident, pretty good Yeah, pretty good draft. How <laughs> confident are you in Jankos' objective stealing ability? <laughs> you think I know what's coming? <laughs> Wait a second, him for? But he what got this, this, right? Oh, he got this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know, actually... <laughs> You know, actually, like the reason I remember like he got this is because it's one of the, it's one of the first times I remember us getting this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sasha, can you go back? I feel like if Wukon would have ultimated the Oriana ultimate, you would have gotten so destroyed. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. I TP in here. Wukong TPs as well. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This Oriana ulti. If Wukon would have ulti there, you were so fucked. Probably, yeah. I could, I could, maybe. I could see it. Maybe, maybe. yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, no, maybe I could we'd see just it. be zero free at this point. Yeah. If only they had Gen X. Gen X would have ulted. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Actually, when we play against SK, Gen we X, can't, yeah, we can't true, take man. this fight. <laughs> oh, oh me. Boom. Boom. Ah, no, very good wonder, man. Yeah, nice. No, seriously, nice. man. Nice. Nice. Three one and two one water Kaiser. So what do you think, Wonder, what do you think is the hero that showcases... So, okay, what do you think is the best hero for you to play after spamming World of Warcraft? Oh, that's a good that's question. A, that's, a, that's a tricky question. That's a good question. Well, since I play... Well, now I play both a mage and a rogue. I would say I'm like... I'm kind of like a mid laner. So like a mid lane <laughs> champs. Uh, like okay. I'm in a, between an assassin and a mage, you know? It's pretty and, good champion, uh, like Ari. Oh, Ari? Okay. Ari would be pretty good, actually. That's like kind of... That, that would actually fit pretty well. It's not that strong right now, but I could probably make it work <laughs> since my bow capabilities translates so well. Okay. Sasha, play this clip. Is it me on Ari? Is it a one-time? 
<laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Oh shit, this was actually fucking dirty. Okay. This this was incredibly dirty. Made in the good way on oh it's uh, one shot. Look at this poor oh my <laughs> look at this poor thing. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Yeah. Imagine you're playing Var I mean you're you're playing uh, Kalista there. Like I don't know. Like at what point rage quitting is bad mannered? At this point I think rage quitting should be well mannered, no? Uh, I mean, like, I mean, I, there's like a really big chess matter right now, right? And normally, uh, it's it's disrespectful if you don't uh, forfeit or like concede, whatever you wanna call it. Exactly, it's when like you... a samurai honor, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like at that point, when you get one shotted like this, you just leave the game. That is honorable. Listen, guys, finish. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. Play this, play this clip, Sasha. It's against the sauna's code to to leave the game. Oh. oh, really? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love Caps' humor. <laughs> okay, what happened? Oh, yeah, we got dis distracted. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Look at this shit. This wasn't a good fight. <laughs> yeah, that was like the seventh death of, Mick uh, of Mickey X, and they only have two kills. Okay. The Orn Horn coming in here. Oh. Nah, look at this. No, Wonder is the 1v9. Oh, shit. I'm kind of. It's fine, though. No, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. Oh, that's. I mean, Kalissa yeah, yeah, is kind of yeah. just too OP. Like, how can I go? Yeah, right? too OP. She just jumps over the wall. I like, can't do anything. Yeah, even a Kalissa main. Yeah, this was as annoying. Well. <laughs> but you still can't counter, even though you're a Kalissa main. Yeah, it's true, actually. <laughs> well, uh, Gragas was annoying that game. Holy shit. Yeah. Really yeah, if we got, like, uh, kind of fucked there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, fun <laughs> question selection. <laughs> Why are you so hot, Wonder, from the cooler chat? <laughs> the a cooler chat? Called you hot. A chat? Yeah. Holy moly, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, it's, yeah, it might just be the Danish genes, who knows? Like, look at Caps. Very nice. Look at Caps that find. Another question. One. Move on. Okay, move on. <laughs> Another question. <laughs> oh. Another question from Jacob Wolf. I got one question. Why? Bye. Is, that, is that a question directed to you, or <laughs> I, I don't know? I think it's open end. Okay. Yeah. So do we just all answer it, or do we like pick someone? Like Caps, Caps wants to answer it, I think. Yeah. Look, I why? It's a question for Caps. Why? Why? Well, um, well, I mean, why we? Played... No, no. Why couldn't you carry? Why couldn't What's I carry? You? No, it's open end. Nobody okay, knows okay. what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Answer, yes, answer whatever question you want, Caps. Yeah. Well, Why? I mean, I got a message that I should uh, wake up uh, at 11 a.m. and come <laughs> come on the show. That's, that's what I'm mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think otherwise he would probably be uh, snoozing right now in his bed. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Meet you. Mitchu thirty five seven twelve yeah how many how many fucking numbers do you wanna put in there Mitchu? <laughs> Mitchu thirty five seven twelve on Twitter <laughs> asks why teams all over the world put such prio on leasing with him getting outscaled by pretty much every jungler in the game. Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. <laughs> he's a he's a pretty, he's a pretty fun why? champion. Yes, why? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of like. There's a lot, lot of like, yeah, if you read between the lines, I can like, free, yeah. I just know like what he's talking about, but it's okay. I'll just ignore that. I will just say that Lucian is pretty strong. They can like one shot someone at six. That's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty good 2v2, you know, but sometimes it goes wrong, you know, it just happens. <laughs> it's just unlucky. <laughs> it's just League of Legends. Sometimes twice in a row as well. Yeah, I mean, it's happened before probably somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so another question from what the fuck is wrong with this man? Another question from Rolando three two five five eight six four seven. Another question from Rolando, many numbers. For G2 caps, how do you mentally prepare yourself for a match? Um, well, I think he has that voice. With so many numbers, he has to have that voice. Yeah, maybe yeah. I mean, uh, it's like I mean, I guess it's a, a bit different depending on like what format is. Like usually, best of fives are a bit different than best of ones. But uh, generally, it's just like more than like preparing myself. It's just like preparing uh, mentally for like what the the draft will be, like what champion I'll play, 
what champions my opponents usually play. So just like theory crafting, like what they're gonna do, it's always good to go into draft so that you like when you're drafting, you know what they're doing, you know what you're doing. Just like being being focused. Okay. Um, now we go to uh, for Weibo questions. Pa G -hu 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 asks, who plays one v one the best in the team? Well, uh, me, me. I will say me. <laughs> I mean. I mean, like, uh, only a few people has went to the All-Star 1v1 tournament, right? Uh, Caps has won it. Uh, That's Miki, true. But I can Prime Miki Caps 1v1 one -on -one beat Prime Weepo 1v1. One -on -one. Oof. That's Oof. a good question. Yeah. I, mean, I, remember, I remember, like, um, I remember going, like, 50-50 against Caps in a Carly Silas matchup in mid lane. Ooh. Okay, I was like... Oof. I was like, I had, I had, I was like a lot of confidence on my Kyle and Silas. Obviously, my Kyle and Silas matter, and I wanted to make sure that we also had pretty high confidence. So if you like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty really good confidence. Okay. Uh, uh, to be fair, all I, all I know is that the last time I played one v one against Bibo, it was actually, and I don't think we played one v one since. I mean, we played warm up one v ones like before All Stars, but we played one v one before the World Final against IG, and I was playing Vayne against this Aatrox. And I was actually like destroying him, so that's that's all I can remember. <laughs> okay, so maybe can Aatrox do anything against Vayne? Though? Well, I mean, you, you know, I, th th I think th it's kind of unfair without jungle, <laughs> probably. But uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know. Yeah, but I was also playing against Vayne when I lost the uh, one one <laughs> this time around, so I couldn't do anything either. <laughs> 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 there was no jungle. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's true. Well, maybe it's caps, okay. you know. It could be caps. <laughs> Another question from Weibo. Last from Weibo, um, from Wo Piao Chiang Bei Fang Weker. Okay, Caps, your favorite Zoe room pages? Um, my favorite Zoe room page. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, usually like, I've always been a big fan of Lexute, but I feel like it's kind of weak right now. Um, so I would probably prefer uh, Spellbook over it or or Airy. Uh, I've been playing around a bit of both of them. I think Spellbook is probably the better one. I think Nimbus Cloak is just really OP. So if you're playing so you should probably just use that since you get like a lot of uses out of it with W. Um, and I think, yeah, the Inspiration Tree is also just very strong right now. So I would go with like some combination of, of Nimbus Cloak and Inspiration Tree. Okay. Actually, I will do another one from Weibo. Uh, from at Chris Chang. Uh, wonder, will you play Riven soon? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> She's actually broken in solo queue. <clears throat> She's broken? Incredibly broken. I mean, maybe in low elo, right? But, I mean, don't ask me. Like, I have, <laughs> I didn't play solo queue in a very long time. No, I understand. You I know, don't... No, you I know played what solo queue is? Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. But I, I didn't see Riven. So, um, I don't think it's very good right now. Uh, if it becomes good, I'll probably play it, though. How important do you think playing solo queue is, actually? Like, at what point do I have to tell you... Wonder you're pissing me off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, if you're like for sure, if you're not scrimming like six, five, six games uh, a day, like regularly, kind of, then you should probably like have a couple of solo games, at least like some warm up, you know, so you're not like you didn't touch a mouse for <laughs> five months. Uh, but like besides that, I think, yeah, I mean, I think it's just like up to. I mean, it just varies, I think, how much people need it, really. I want to let you go right now, but I, I have a question, actually, that I, I legit don't know the answer to it. Um, I know, right? <laughs> it's weird. It's rare. It's, it's... Uh, <laughs> um, so, so, do you think that when you get in your League of Legends career to a certain point, um, you actually don't need to work on your mechanics <clears throat> as much? I mean, I, I, I don't think so, but you can go ahead, Caps. Yeah, I mean, I think probably, I mean, you always have to work on improving yourself, right? I think, uh, like, the reason that probably, like, so many pro players retire, like, really early on in their career is probably that they get, like, complacent or that they, like, think exactly that, that they, like, they have already, like, won something or they're already doing really well, so they don't have to improve more. But uh, obviously, like, <laughs> uh, looking at <laughs> this week, even if we have won EU a lot of times, we can still still lose to everyone. Um, so we will just have to to keep improving and being ahead, step, one step ahead in the meta, um, one step ahead in our mechanics, else <laughs> else we will lose. <laughs> yeah, I think with like all the patches as well, it's probably like 
like I mean new champs like get reworked, new champs get introduced, so it's like if you don't I mean you can have like mechanics. I can play like a champ I didn't play for three years and still remember like some matchups and like how to play it. But like if a new champ gets introduced and I have no clue like what all the spells does, then I probably have to play it uh, and learn it, you know. Okay. All right, guys. So th that's pretty much it. Uh, do you have anything you want to say or ask, or I don't know anything? Mm. Or you just want to just fucking leave this call and leave me alone? Um, we'll try to uh, run, run it down less next week. <laughs> still, run it down less next week. Still enough so that like we can have the show, but <laughs> just like not <laughs> not not as much. <laughs> okay. So run it run it down just just enough so that we can get this show going. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't 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 fuck us over like this, okay? One one two, I guess it's alright if you play not against Vitality. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you so much. You're the best. Uh, say goodbye to the camera. Hey! Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>